So this was, this, this is uh, an old Selangor paper, but very well done. This set is very well done. So, kita terus tengok uh, soalan pertama. Straight away, look at the first question. Uh. Guys, I want to ask you, uh, what topic what topic is in this question one? I When I do question, I always tell students to label the topic. Chapter two, good. Form four, bug two. What else? What else? Yeah, Joshua, Clement, Dipti, Navin, Shannon. Shannon from where? Joshua, Adam, Adam from where? Cecilia, Cecilia, what's your surname? Uh, yeah, chapter five. Okay. Oh, uh, are you my existing student also? Uh, this one is, this one include chapter five. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so guys, write bug two and bug five. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, guys. So let's do some revision. Uh. Let's do some revision. Uh, because I also worry some students uh, haven't learned yet. Uh. Yeah. Okay, let's look at bug five. Let's look at bug five. We revise, then I give you a short while to try. Those that are tougher. Okay, first question. So chapter five, metabolism and enzyme. Uh, check. Intra and extracellular, what is the difference? Let's say structure asks you, what is the difference, intra and extra? What is intra? In and out. Wow, so easy, Abayo. Not everyone can score A+. Plus. In and out. Uh, okay, I, I, I make your answer a bit more complete. One function in the cell, one function outside the cell. Okay? Intra happen in the cell. Okay, so this one here, guys, you can copy intracellular produce and function in the cell. Dihasilkan dalam cell, berfungsi juga dalam cell. Extracellular produce in the cell, but, guys, but what? But, But yeah, okay, good. Function outside out outside the cell. Okay. Function outside the cell. Yeah. Uh Zilin, Sean. Zilin from what school? Okay, so guys, one produce in the cell, function in the cell. Another one produce inside but sent outside to function. So, exam love to ask production extracellular enzyme. I always tell students, your midterm, there's a 90% chance they will ask you. They will ask you extracellular. It's like one of the most important thing in part 5. Confirm one, guys, you will find it in, in midterm. Okay, so the hard way to study is to hafal the words. Cara susah belajar. Itu sepe ya. Itu sepe. Protein is produced. Protein enter. Okay, easy way, we use visual. Guys, easier way, we use visual. Check. First point. Guys, first point. What do ribosomes do? Come, we try to make it a little bit more interactive. Ribosome, what does it do? Or just give me one keyword also can. Uh. Synthesis protein, good. Yes, correct. Synthesis protein. Uh. So first point, ribosome synthesize protein. Okay, produce protein. Next, protein enters rough endoplasmic reticulum. Guys, what's the difference between rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum? Jalinan endoplasma kasa, jalinan endoplasma lichin. The ribosome. Ah, you see, this one, the smooth ER. Where got ribosome? Okay, where got ribosome? Don't have. Rough got. Yeah, Lichi, Sean, Arifa, Han, Huying, 
Joshua, Cecilia. So, rough enter, oh, sorry, protein enters, rough endoplasmic reticulum and is packed, debunkus. It is packed into revision, guys. What do we call this? Now, if you just say vesicle, I think still okay for now. But but uh, another one, two months time, when you sit for midterm, you must use the word transport vesicle. Vesicle angkutan. Mesti guna vesicle angkutan. So why use, uh, why use transport? Because this vesicle will transport the protein to Golgi apparatus. And this is where chapter 2 comes in. What does Golgi do to the protein? Apa terjadi kepada protein? One word. Modify. Yes. Modify. Enough, Fabi. Mengubah suai. Dalam BM kita sebut mengubah suai. So, modify protein become enzyme. Okay? Alright, guys. Again, ah. Uh, Okay, first point, ribosome synthesized protein. Now, a lot of students don't quite know how to use this word. Eh? Uh, you can use synthesized protein, but you don't say protein synthesized. The maksud lari a bit, the meaning will run. You either say protein, protein carry out protein synthesis, carry out protein synthesis or synthesize protein. Okay, synthesize means produce. Synthesize means produce. So don't put this word at the back. They can mark you wrong. They can mark you wrong. Because the meaning lari, the meaning lari already. Okay, uh, guys, sometimes I go for, because I have a little bit of connection, I do go for those permerexa meeting. Permerixer meeting. They will mark a student wrong when the meaning lari. And I'm not too sure whether you know, starting from year 2022. How old are you all? Ah? You all are 18. Ah? Seventeen? Oh, some of you are 17. Ah? Oh, some of you are 17. Ah? Oh, I see. Wow, this, wow, this person very terrible. Form 55. You mean Form 5? Oh, oh, you're 16. Okay, okay, anyway. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, SPM student are even happier. SPM students, or even the year after, start, starting from last year, right? Because uh, last year, I didn't go for meeting because last year, I was... I think a bit packed, a bit too packed. So starting from last year, so I asked my friends uh, who are pemeriksa, I asked five of them. Hey, so Cikgu, bagaimana dengan pemeriksa, uh, sorry, bagaimana dengan uh, uh, cara kita memeriksa uh, kertas SPM bagi tahun 2022? Oh, Cikgu, kau tahu tak? Mereka nak mengembalikan cara tanda kertas seperti sebelum MCO. Guys, I'm not too sure whether you noticed. 2020, the results were quite good. This was KBSM. I'm not too sure whether you were aware because maybe you were Form 3, Form 2, you don't quite care. Lah. Then, guys, KSSM is so much tougher every single subject. Maths, they add this and that, insurance and so on. Add maths a little bit tougher, biochemistry. Every, field, every single topic, uh, or you just stick to subject. Right? Every single subject was much tougher. But you know what? M and MCO year some more. Wow, results even better than 2020. Even better. You don't believe when read the news. So parents query. Uh, why never go school? Huh? You see KSSM. Uh, means never go school, syllabus so much tougher. 
But wow, score even better. Oh. That is why last year when the when the Pomerixa all went for meeting, Ketua Pomerixa, Ketua Pomerixa already told the, the Marcus. Mark strictly. That's why my straight A plus student, uh, my straight A plus student, number of students scored A plus, A, A minus, all dropped nearly half. Yeah, it's really because of the marking, guys. But, but today, I'm not talking about marking because it's a Form 4 seminar. I only talk about how Pemeriksa, not how Pemeriksa, how you get your grade nearing SPM1. I don't talk about it now. No point. No point. Now your job is to focus on studying. How they grade you doesn't, doesn't there's nothing much you can do. One. Okay, so guys, coming back. Protein synthesized by ribosome it will enter rough er rough endoplasmic reticulum in exam must write full name then this is packed in transport vesicle carried to golgi apparatus modified into enzyme and guys next question revision what is this now Secretory vesicle, very good. Uh, vesicle rembesan, dalam BM. Vesicle rembesan. Now, protein, oh, cannot say transport anymore because transport is only here. From here to here. Ah, transport. Angkut ke, ke jasad Golgi. From Golgi apparatus, the secretory vesicle will carry the enzymes to the plasma membrane. Here, sorry to say, you have to use an F word. Guys, don't worry, I help you a bit. You must use a four-letter F word. I still help you a bit more, guys. F U. Now, some of my students already very fast answer. Already. I haven't even said anything, they already answered. <laughs> F U. Oh, no, 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 C, guys. No, C. No, no, no. Ah, fuse. Okay. What word were you thinking when you say C? Ah? <laughs> okay, guys. Fuse. Berchantung. The secretory vesicle fuse with plasma membrane to release enzymes out of the cell. We call this extracellular enzyme. So what is extracellular enzyme again? Oh, they are synthesized in the cell, secreted out to function. Okay? Guys, are you okay so far? Oh yeah, if you use F word, don't say I teach you bio. Like, use some other bio teacher name. Uh. Guys, uh, any, any uh, are you okay so far? Form 5, I'm not worried like, if you're here as a Form 5 student, but Form 4, okay or not? Okay, uh? now, one thing you have to know about bio, you cannot always take too much time to study, to revise, to recap, to recall. Every time you want to study for your midterm, your major exam, you keep reading the same thing. So the time you put in is always the same. So guys, let me show you. By using this visual method, we can do it in less than one minute. Okay, let's do it together. One last time. Okay, uh, look, uh, okay, let's start. For first point, ribosome synthesized protein. Protein enter rough ER. Guys, this is packed in again. Packed in what? What vesicle? One word. One word. Transport. Okay. Transport vesicle carry protein to Golgi. And Golgi, what word? Golgi modify protein into enzyme. Pack in what vesicle? What vesicle? Secretory vesicle rembesan. Uh, what F word? I pray and hope everyone say the right F word. Yeah, fuse. Release out extracellular. Guys, revision is less than one minute. If you can revise a process in less than one minute, in the whole country, uh, you are one of the top. You are top 1% for that process. Because now, 
to be a A student, uh, A or A plus, uh, you you have to be tepat dan cepat. No point tepat tapi lambat. Tepat tapi lambat tak cukup masa untuk habiskan uh, soalan. Okay, this is what I always aim for when I teach students. Can my students achieve this level? Yeah, not only tepat but cepat. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, let's let's look at this. Ah. Huh? Oh, sorry. One more thing. Ah. Huh? Now, uh, for SPM students, this one. For SPM students, form four, they won't ask you yet. Never before in the history of SPM bio. I'm talking about SPM, uh, not school. Uh. But so many students from so many schools, I'm not too sure what your teachers ask you. In the history of SPM, tak pernah sekalipun, never once, uh, they ask production of intracellular enzyme. Even the books all don't have. So SPM 2023 students, if really this one come out, let's say five marks, what to do? What to do? Blame Mr. Ko. Hey, don't like that. Don't like that. <laughs> Die low. Uh, uh, Rinha, did I mention your name correct? Uh, put public, please. Study, uh. not in the book. Eh. Not in the book. Poe. Oh, very special your name. Poe. Uh, ah, Sean, very good. You see the form five students? They're flexing their, their, their power. Ah, <laughs> showing off to the form force. <laughs> so guys, kalau mereka nak enzim dalam cell, jangan sebut the last two points. Don't mention, uh, don't mention secretory vesicle. Okay, don't mention extracellular enzyme. Just say that. Look, let me teach you. Let me teach you. Don't worry. Now the enzymes, the enzymes are packed in a vesicle function in the cell. That's all. Done. Boom. Packed in vesicle function in the cell. Uh, story, story is done. Okay. Uh, sir, can I say the nucleus have DNA? You can talk about it, but one sentence will do. Okay. Guys, I know some books put mRNA. But I can tell you, out of 100 students today here, 101 don't understand mRNA. It's super deep. Ah, because this one is what I teach in SDPM A levels. If you really want, just memorize one sentence for mRNA. A lot of students think, wow, uh, they want to score a lot. So they memorize a few points of, about mRNA. No, no point one, guys. No, no, no point uh, studying, studying many points for mRNA. Okay, straight to the question, guys. Look, huh? so we're going to do, we're going to do questions that are tougher. Lah, okay, uh, easy ones, we just go through. Okay, if you came in a bit late, um, I told this at the beginning of the session. I'm, I'm teaching and guiding on how to answer. Questions that are tougher, I give you one minute to try. Okay, check. Uh, what is J? What is G? Rough ER. Make sure right full name. Ah. Jalinan endoplasma kasa. Then K. Golgi apparatus. Okay, done. Two marks. Two marks. Let's move on. Next. Oh, this is good. Guys, I want you to try the next one. Content of content here. Kandungan, content here in one. What's your answer? Mm, anybody? Ah, okay, Joshua. Protein, ah. then this one. Amylase. They didn't mention amylase. You cannot put amylase. Ah. So one is protein, one is enzyme. Draw one star. Draw one star. And just to just to remind you, right, you can write transport vesicle if you haven't. I, I bet some of the students have written it. Uh transport vesicle. This one is secretory vesicle. Vesicle angkutan, vesicle rembesan. 
Okay, next. I want you to try B. Draw one star, try B. Draw one star, try B. Just take one minute, we'll do. Guys, one minute. Function of K in extracellular. Okay, guys, uh, just type whatever point you have. Don't need full sentence, just some keywords will do. Uh, okay, just to make sure you are on, on, on point. Uh. Modify protein one mark. Can I use back the alphabet K? Uh? Is it okay? When I answer question, I use back alphabet K. Is it fine? It's okay, yeah. Uh? uh, so guys, modify protein into enzyme, and then how? Yeah, Ziying, Joshua, Tanushri, Sean, Kiputri, Vishwesh. Uh, pack into secretory vesicle. Good. And then, normally, yeah. Uh, if you guys, why the one star? Why the one star is because of this. They will give you marks for saying it butts off from K. Okay. It will butt off from K. Akan keluar daripada, akan keluar daripada uh, jasad gogi. Of course, in front of modify, you want to put process and modify can, uh, can uh, but the keyword is modify. Okay, so the one mark is more for this up uh, secretory vesicle, but of one one point you are learning uh, keluar daripada K. Uh. Is it the same as from the tip of Golgi? Can also, can also. But they don't need so specific like tip of Golgi. Ah. Yeah, Li Chi. Men Mohan, okay. Ziyi, Han, Cecilia. Okay, uh, guys. Anyone else with any other question? Okay, done. Uh. So I move on. Uh. Uh, you, okay, for those who are done, you try the next one. The next one is K bar. The next one is K bar. Just try the prediction. Uh, if right, Golgi must capital G. No, no, no. Sir, me as Form 5 joining this seminar, will it be beneficial for my midterm later? Uh, Definitely got a bit, uh, but you need to put in the effort to study uh, because, uh, like I said, Bayou is not that simple now. Normally December, normally December, right, I ask students go for holiday, there's no class, no tuition. You don't need break, also your teacher need a break. Your teacher also want to go for holiday. Wow, but guys, ever since KSSM started, uh, I rarely went, I, I rarely, I rarely travel overseas. Uh. I rarely travel because December also got class now. Now December also got class because why? 15 topics. Uh, 15 topics. Last time I tell my student, you don't come. Uh, no, no class. Uh. Did someone force me? Sir, have class. Uh. We got nothing to do at home. You're not going holiday. I say you stay at home. Uh, I'm going holiday. <laughs> but ever since, MC, uh, ever since MCO and KSSM started, I haven't been overseas at all, you know. 
Yeah, serious. Because every December trying to rush the syllabus. Okay, now, next. Uh. Uh, guys, what is your prediction? Who so pandai go and add more topics? <laughs> Joshua, you are luck. Maybe, maybe it's your luck that you're born that year, lah. Two thousand what six, ah. <laughs> Guys, what's your prediction? This is K bud. K bud means something outside the textbook, something outside your your whatever you learn. Just say that. Okay, Jason, quite good. Okay, just say that it cannot be synthesized. Jason, yours is okay, ah. Guys, I want you to take a moment, look at his answer. Uh, Jason said, production of extracellular enzyme will be inhibited. The words are so very different if compared to mine. But it's okay. Why? In the day one peperiksaan, they will tell, asal maksud yang sama, kita akan terima. Sorry, guys, I have to say this. Uh, if any of your teacher tell you must half hafal word for word, uh, there's no such thing. Hey, in the whole Malaysia, 400,000 calon calon SPM, how do you expect uh, students to answer the same thing? Okay, Bayo, maybe let's say 100,000. They've got such thing, uh, students can think the same. So that's why actually marking of SPM is very fair. But sometimes in school, you get the wrong info. Okay. Okay, look. Next. Explanation. Okay, because this is the extra point. Okay, actually, we need nucleus for protein synthesis. We need nucleus for protein synthesis because to make protein, we need genetic information. This one draw two stars, sorry. Draw two stars. How it works, you don't need to know because that one will take don't know how many hours just to explain. In Form 6, I take 3 hours uh, just to teach this. Uh, protein synthesis take 3 hours uh, in STPM. So guys, you all no need, just half out one sentence. In nucleus, got genetic content. It is needed for protein synthesis. Because no nucleus, no genetic content, so no protein synthesis. Uh, that's your answer. But anyway, this is two marks. Huh? Sebab satu markah bagi ramalan, dua lagi markah bagi uh, explanation. So in proper SPM question, you'll see it like that. Meaning they ask you something simple on top. Or oh, label J, label K. Function of J, function of K. After that, the K bar come in. That's how they normally structure the, the question. Okay, uh, any, anyone not done? I'm moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. How many of you here, you woke up early just for this one, this seminar? <laughs> if not, you wake up at, I don't know, 12, 1. What? Okay, if without the seminar, what time will you wake up? <laughs> Not that early, ah. Wow, two o'clock. Wow. Okay. Uh, who said two? Ah? who said two? Ah, just now, ah? Oh, oh, you put public some more. Okay, I want to ask you, ah, if you wake up at two, ah, what time do you sleep? Freya, Freya, where are you from? If you wake up at two, what time do you sleep? Sleep at two, wake up at two. Okay, lah. Okay, lah. Okay, lah. Guys, I want to share with you this one I shared in my class before. Just, I think, one month ago, the holiday, Raya holiday. Oh, okay. Uh, my student, my student, uh, he say he, he wakes up at 2 p.m. One of my students. Uh, I say, actually, after so many years of teaching, I'm not surprised. So I ask him, uh, what time do you, what time do you sleep? That brother said 11 p.m. So my brain took a while to my brain took a while to try to understand the whole thing. Ah, uh. oh, guys, he can sleep from eleven p.m. till eleven a.m. is already twelve hours. Still have a wake up. Oh, another twelve one two another three hour. 
Wow, 15 hours non-stop, he can sleep half the day. He can sleep half the day. I understand if you wake up late, it's because you slept late. Wow, but he, he slept at 11. Oh. Anyone here like that? Okay, next. Huh? So this is them tired. Yeah, the, the more you sleep, the more tired you feel. Huh? Okay, guys, mitochondria, just draw. Simple one. So this is what you can expect for chapter five. Can be structured, can be essay. Guys, can be structured, can be essay. All right. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Plus later, I want to really spend some time in mitosis, meiosis. I want to spend some time mitosis, meiosis. It's the toughest topic. The rest, if you read by your, on your own, you still can survive. Huh? Okay, guys, uh, before you try question two, I just want to tell you that the most important thing for... Okay, tell me what topic is this from? This is from what topic? Chapter three, yeah? Yes, bug three. Bug three. Normally, bug three will be one question by itself. They don't really gabong. Ah. They don't really combine one. All right. Osmosis. Yeah, osmosis. Correct, correct. Okay, so... I just want to revise a bit with you. Let me ask you, lah, guys. Chapter three, what is the most important component that, that, that is of higher chance to come out in, in a school exam? Not SPM, school exam. Let's see, form five and form four. Man. The hypo, hyper, yes, the applications. Let's do a bit of revision. Don't refer to any book. I just want to ask you, what happens when this question muscle exam I got wrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what happens when plant cell I put in hyper? Think, think, think. Fast, fast. Answer. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Hashia, correct. Dipti, correct. Prishvina, yes. Adam, uh, don't use built because cell only. Cell, we don't use built. Lichi, correct. Uh, Asru, be careful because crenation is for red blood cell. Crenation is for red blood cell. Crenasi. Check, guys. Look. Plant cell, I put in hypertonic solution. In osmosis, we learn water always move. Hypo to hyper. Okay. Always hypo to hyper. Don't use low to high or high to low. Quite confusing. Okay, quite confusing. Now, water always move from hypo to hyper. If any, if any book tell you hyper to hypo, guys, throw the book. Throw the book. No such thing. Water move hyper to hypo. Okay. And I always tell my students, uh, or if there are my students here, what is the most hypotonic solution in the world that they don't tell you in any textbook or any book in popular? Cecilia, for public, uh, Joshua? Yes, distilled water. I always, always tell my student, this is like a no-brainer tip. Though, because... 80-90% of the time, they show use ice soothing one, distilled water. Okay, later I see whether I got an example. Uh. Okay, so the moment you see distilled water, you know it's hypo. Okay, so check. Outside hyper means inside hypo. Outside hyper, inside hypo. Water always move. Hypo to hyper, guys. Water move out. Water move out. Hook. The plant cell shrink. Kachut. It undergoes plasmolysis. Be careful with this word. Plasmolysis is a process. How what's the condition, guys? Condition of the plant cell. Yes, Cecilia, Navin, Z Ching just now. Uh flashy. Okay, dalam BM pun flaccid. Dulu pernah belajar. So, when plant cell put in hypertonic solution, water move out, 
it becomes flaccid. Or you can say undergone plasmolysis. All right, these two words are slightly different because condition, keadaan cell, this is the process that occur. Okay, terbalik, I put plant cell in hypo. What happens? The plant cell become, plant cell become, burst. No, 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 no. Ah, yes. Uh, Sean, Navin, I did the Kuiyin, Teji. So, guys, when I put a normal plant cell in hypotonic solution, check. Outside hypo, guys, outside hypo means what? Outside hypo means what? Inside hyper, water always move. Water always move. Hypo to hyper. Okay, hypo to hyper. So it becomes turgid. It becomes turgid. Okay, so let me summarize for you. Uh. Uh, in terms of application of osmosis, uh, we have these two. Uh. We have these two, which is plant cell. Plant cell, when I put in hypotonic solution, it becomes turgid. Plant cell, when I put in hyper solution, it becomes flaccid. The process is plasmolysis. Guys, what is the other branch here? What should be here? It is a patonia, cell darah merah, red blood cell. Red blood cell revision, I put in hypotonic solution. You need to imagine outside hypo. Oh, Clement, very good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, never mind. I, 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 I share first. Okay, guys, look. Look at what Clement said. Hey, sir, uh, isn't the term flaccid used to describe plant cell in isotonic? How many of you have this question? Okay, uh, okay, guys, those who have this question, nah, Clement, CY, uh, Monica, sir, flaccid isn't it in isotonic? I know the one, two, three, four, the four to five of you study textbook, correct or not? Correct or not? So I want to ask you, I want to ask you, how can it be, how can it be flaccid means string uh, if in isotonic? It doesn't make sense if a solution is isotonic, then it causes the plant cell to shrink. Because example, 100 plus. Guys, have you heard before 100 plus isotonic? Yes, sir. Uh? But why, why do you drink it isotonic if it causes your cell to shrink? Guys, the textbook is wrong. Textbook salah. The textbook is wrong. Your teacher should tell you. In fact, I think there are nearly eight mistakes in Hong 4 textbook. Eight mistakes. This is like the second one, I think. Yeah. Textbook wrong. Textbook wrong. Uh, no, don't burn textbook. No, no, no. The, 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 the what the what what, what uh? the corporacy will 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 ask for ganti rugi uh? <laughs> SPBT, yeah 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 not not corporacy <laughs> sorry I leave school too long already <laughs> in that case oh they 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 definitely won't follow this uh. this is wrong word guys if you find something is not right question your teacher that's why in class, in my class, I'm very open to students asking questions. Not sure, please ask. We clarify together. Okay, check. So, red blood cell put in hypotonic. So guys, again, uh, again, uh, uh, it is flaccid when we put in hyper. It doesn't make sense if you put in hypo, then flaccid. Uh. Like that everyone drink 100 plus will, will, will die of dehydration. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Hypo, when red blood cell put in hypo, outside hypo, inside hyper. So water enter 
what happens to the red blood cell? Burst. Very good. What is the name of the process? Very good. Hemolysis. What if I put red blood cell in hypertonic solution? Outside hyper. Inside hypo. Water move hypo to hyper. Water move out. Okay. Can I know how to draw the plant cell at hypo and hyper? Can, can, can. No problem. No problem. Uh, flaccid is like this. Uh. Okay, flaccid is like this. Uh. It pull away from the plasma membrane. Turgid is very packed. You try to show that it curves. Very packed. Okay, so this one here, it will shrink. Uh, we say cremation. I always tell students, don't go and write cremation. Ah. Cremation is uh, uh, hua. Hua hua means pembakaran mayat. Ah. When someone passes away, then go for cremation. Ah. Don't write the wrong word. Ah. If you write the wrong word, don't say I teach you by you. Ah. Say other teacher name. Ah. <laughs> so, yeah, this one, hypo water. Okay, guys, uh, please copy this. Please copy this. There's some space below. Uh. Just now page number. Just now that question. Uh. Or, or below page 5 also can. Below page 5 also can. Guys, today's session, um, I, I always try to give students a bit extra. Uh, because I was once like you. Whereby school asked uh, Pencerama to come in. Uh. Like school ask Pencerama to come in and then they just want to sell something. You, I don't know whether you have been to that kind of seminar. It's very not nice. Uh. You get what I mean, uh, guys. So, so like today's session, uh, uh, other than this set, uh, the second set is for you to do self-study. I will give you the answers. I'll pass it to WeGrow. WeGrow will upload it. Uh. Yeah, that one is for you to do self-study. Then if you really have any question, you can ask me in IG, uh, IG or Facebook. I'll answer one. But at least let me know who you are. Oh, sir, I'm the student who attended uh, the We Grow Form 4 midterm seminar. Don't like, hi, sir, how to do this? Because there was once, I, I shared with my students last month, uh, there was an... At least let me know you are human. Uh, <laughs> that they got someone... Ask me a question. So the name of that account is Malaysia. The name of the Facebook account, Malaysia. So guys, I felt very awkward that I could teach Malaysia biology. So to make myself feel a little bit better, I clicked the profile picture, guys. I clicked the profile picture. Lagi teruk, the flag come out. Guys, the flag come out. The flag come out. So, <laughs> yeah, Jalo Kamilan. So, guys, if you want to ask question, at least let me know. La. You don't even have to tell me your name. La. You just say, Hi, sir. I'm, uh, I attended your seminar that day. I have a question about this paper that you provided. <laughs> yeah, so awkward. The nation needed your help. Yeah, that's why, that's why. Okay, guys, should be done. Let's move on. Let's move on. Teacher, how to describe how to describe the condition of plant cell? Uh, it remains unchanged. Don't care whether plant cell or red blood cell in isotonic solution. We say it remains unchanged. Okay. The other perubahan. The other perubahan. Okay. I thought plant in I thought plant in isotonic will be not so turgid. Yeah, it's not. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's normal size. Uh. Okay. Uh, deplasmolysis when you use a plasmolyzed plant cell put in hypotonic. Can we say flaccid for iso? Yeah, it's wrong.
Uh, guys, have a look. Isotonic means same, same, same osmotic pressure means concentration, but you're having a same. How can it be the same, but then become flaccid? It's wrong word. That's why drinks are called isotonic drink. They don't call hypotonic drink. They don't call hypertonic drink. Yeah. Sir, can I say shape of red blood cell is maintained? Yes, correct. No problem. What school are you from? Okay, guys. Uh, moving back to the question. Uh. Okay, now. State the condition of whisking tube after 30 minutes. Ah, guys, look. Tada. Oh, okay, Butterworth. All right, all right. Okay, guys, uh, distilled water, what did I tell you? The moment your eyes see, oh, distilled water must be hypotonic. Any book tell you distilled water hyper, also throw the book, guys. Throw the book. No such thing, distilled water hyper. The moment you know outside hypo, you know all the answers already. Yeah. So outside hypo, inside hyper. Water move in or out? You guys, water move in or out? Yes, Asru, Han, Cecilia. Water move in. So we'll expand. Okay, we'll expand. So one mark for drawing. Okay, next. State the condition. What's the condition? Come on, guys. One word only. Oh, some sentence is okay. Nah. From this, become this. Expand. Uh, okay. Expand. Expand. Hmm. Enlarge. Okay, la, okay, la, can uh, expand, enlarge, become bigger. All right. Swell. Uh, don't say swell. Uh, don't say swell. Uh, just I think two months ago, I was just teaching this topic. We did something similar. Then one student answered, become longer. Become longer. I, I really don't know whether to accept or not. But I think high chance cannot. <laughs> high chance cannot. Uh, I'll become longer. I think he's thinking about other topics. Uh. Okay, anyway, guys. Uh, next. Moving on. Moving on. Mengembang boleh. Mengembang. Mengembang. Menjadi lebih besar pun okay. Okay, uh, guys. Draw three stars. You can expect this form of question in exam. Okay, uh, try to give me some points straight. Guys, try to give me some points straight. Where hypo, where hyper? Oh, is that the answer? Yeah, correct. If it's a... Uh, okay, oh, I thought it's a question. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if you state... Because the challenge is three marks. If you are form five student, you must, you must get all the three marks. If you're form four, you have to just learn the method. That's simple. So always state which one is hypo, hyper. Then water, water move in or out. Guys, do you know, did your teacher tell you, you get one mark just by mentioning osmosis? Okay. So look, process osmosis, terus dapat satu marka. Don't care structure or essay. Straight away, get one mark. Okay, you mentioned which one is hypo, which one is hyper. Water, enter the whisking tube, volume increase. I always try to put one more point in case. Just in case, uh, just in case. Uh. Yeah, guys, if you look at the comment section, they'll be giving you a special deal if you stay with me until the end of the session. Okay, please note that in front of your name will be added with a code. Uh, Asru, yeah, I saw your I saw your answer. I want to comment a bit. Uh, guys, 
if Ken don't talk about high to low concentration, because it's as time passes, you will feel it's more confusing. Try not to use the word concentration. I, I don't have the time to explain here, but uh yeah, try not to use that word. Uh. Water potential, water potential. Um, normally we use in form five, lah, but I know I know in your book, God, I normally teach in form five. I don't teach water potential in uh, form four. Uh, don't use solute potential. That one is more for plant. Yes, you are, you are correct, Asru. Water potential, slightly more for plant. So is it called whisking tube or whisking tubing? Both are fine. Just follow back the question. Okay, guys, done. Huh? And the last one. Okay, this one you can just... Guys, can you just take a photo? You copy later. Just take a photo or screenshot because I feel this is quite easy. Huh? Too easy, I don't want to discuss one. Huh? Okay, huh? all right, next, last one. This is really good. Draw two stars. Preservation. Okay, what, what do you know about preservation? Guys, what do you know about preservation? Long lasting. Okay, what, what, how, how to carry out preservation? Remove all the water. Very good. Add salt, put in vinegar. Correct. So, guys. Okay, uh, Shanjay, quickly take a photo or screenshot. Don't copy. Uh, fast, fast, fast. Because I like to maximize the time one. I, I don't like to waste time. Yeah. Okay, next. Okay, guys. Uh, see why have you taken screenshot of the previous one because this one I'm not sending answer I'm sending answer for those I'm not discussing uh. I mean guys you come for live session this is the benefit you get uh, correct or not okay so I mean those who watch recording same thing like if you watch recording also you'll be looking at the same thing okay now preservation we always put in a concentrated solution because because outside will be hyper once it's concentrated, water move out. And when it is when it is dehydrated, bacteria cannot survive. Draw two stars. Draw two stars. This is a very good question. That's why I selected this set. Must use salt solution. Uh, you can use vinegar. La. They allow you to use vinegar also. Something concentrated is fine. Is this the same concept applied when people put salt to wound? Uh, not yes and no la, a bit of we want it to dry ma, correct but uh, salt also have its properties to keep the wound intact la. okay so this one draw two stars eh? okay guys uh, are you up for a video are you up for a video so this is another question done. Huh? So you can expect something like this in, in your midterm. Uh, guys, every class of mine, I sure will show one video. Lah. Teacher, use water or water molecule. Either one is fine. But I know there are teachers who force you to use molecule. Not, not too important. Lah. Yeah. Uh, deeply, no, no, no. They, they want you to focus on the concept of osmosis, not pH. Not pH. Okay. Okay, well, guys, uh, let me show you a video, then we'll move on to... Uh, I, I want to... You, you can take it as revision if you learned mitosis, meiosis. If not, then you... 
take as learning something new. Lah. Okay. All right, guys, let me show you a video. This is quite good. This is quite good. I just showed this that they are not bad. The effect, not bad. Short one, but quite good. Because it will be a filmed interview. Uh, can hear or not, guys? Oh, can. Okay, okay, okay. And this is my favorite, hands down. Get out! Know. Oh my god! Ah! Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Holy shit! Holy shit! He said, "Holy shit!" <laughs> story guys what's the model of the story always carry a water bottle <laughs> tepat tepat book kena the forehead uh. Ay, uh, so guys normally in class i show a one minute video just to you know get your mind off things and then come back yeah okay so guys the next question uh, the next question is like one of the main highlights for today because chapter six is quite tedious. I can tell you guys, I'm, I'm just being very honest. Even when I teach Bab six, uh, just the past one week, even my students feel a bit shaky. I, I'm being very honest. Even my students feel shaky, you know. You know how many hours I take to teach chapter six? Uh? Uh, I think about six hours. Uh, five, six hours. Uh. I mean, because live class is... Guys, uh, you have to understand the difference between pre-recorded and live class. Uh. Because live class over means over. Ma. So I have to really go a much slower pace. But pre-recording, that's the advantage whereby you can replay. You can keep on playing until you get it. The difference between live and pre-recorded. Uh. So like... So like pre-recorded, I'll go my pace a little bit more. Uh, but after a while, you find you are able to keep up. That, that's, that's difference between live, pre-recorded. But, but ultimately, uh, 
Uh, which one is better? Okay, guys, I interviewed quite a number of straight A students. You can watch it my YouTube. You just type Mr. Core Biology. I can tell you upfront, there's no such thing as which one is the best. There's more to which is more suitable. Which one is more suitable? Yeah. Oh, sir, I'm, uh, I'm the type whereby I really can't bring myself to on the laptop to log in WeGrow. Then maybe you don't quite suit pre-recorded. Wow, sir, I find uh, live class is very slow. I like to speed up. Ah, then you suit WeGrow. That, that kind of uh, concept I'm talking about, you have to look at yourself. It's not for us to decide for you. Yeah. Okay, guys, one of the main highlights for today is uh, this topic. Uh. So let, let me move to my normal class slide. Uh. Let me move to my normal class slide. Okay, look. There's a little bit of copying. If, yeah, there's a little bit of copying. A little bit of copying. A uh, little bit of copying. Guys. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So I'm used to playing your videos a bit faster. So when I listen to you live, it's kind of weird. Okay. So if you see me, you feel like weird. <laughs> okay, guys. Look, look, look. Profis, uh, first point. I want to ask you. Uh, how many of sorry, uh, how many of you haven't learned this topic? Uh, this mitosis meiosis. Shamitra. Okay. Two, two, three, four, five. Uh, quite a few, uh, quite a few, uh. Okay, okay. Guys, um, I try not to go too fast or too slow. Lah. Okay, look, uh, if this is planet Earth, what is what are these two parts? The dual dual tempat ini. If let's say this is our tissue. Pole, yeah, North Pole and South Pole. First point, central smooth to opposite pole. Okay, this is the cell, by the way. First point, central move to opposite pole. I suggest you can copy uh, if you don't use my notes. Uh. Sir, I'm seeing you for the first time. I do not know who you are at all. Then you better copy. Definitely, it will help you a lot. Central smooth to opposite pole. Nuclear membrane break down and disappear. Okay, guys, because uh, this whole thing is the nucleus, so the membrane will break down first. Nuclear membrane break down, disappear. Chromosome becomes visible. Uh, this one never mind. Don't ignore first. Uh. Just uh, if you are copying, just copy chromosome become visible. Menjadi jelas kelihatan. Actually, these are chromatin. These are chromatin. Sir, how can how can chromatin become the beautiful flower? Ah, uh, it shorten and thicken. Chromatin shorten and thicken. But if you are learning it for the first time, don't care first. The one so detailed, get to know the whole ranke, the whole backbone. That only you try to know the branches. Okay. Sir, can I say chromosome visible under light microscope? Cannot, because we are talking about the process. Don't involve any microscope or apparatus. Okay. Chromosome become visible. Last point, nucleolus ring disappear. Guys, these are the four points for prophase in mitosis. Mitosis, there are four phases. So, chromatin and chromatin are the same. Wow, yo, all these questions start to come in. Maybe. Ooh. Chromatin. Chromosome. One chromatid, two chromatid. This is a two chromatid chromosome. This is a two chromatid chromosome. So different thing, different thing. This is a one chromatid chromosome. Guys, um, 
I'm going through quite briefly because we don't we really don't have the time to go through super detail. Uh. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, now next. Uh, if you haven't, please quickly copy. Teacher, later can you talk about daughter cell? Daughter cell is just new cell. But don't go and write. If you learn in Malay, kalau belajar dalam uh, BM, jangan pergi tulis sel anak perempuan. Again, if you write sel anak, anak perempuan, don't say Ajishu Bayu. Ah. It's just sel baru or sel anak. Ah. Okay? I, I, I don't want to touch on number of chromosome. That one will take uh, 30 minutes. Ah. I, I, guys, I'm not touching on number of chromosome. Just purely... Uh, mitosis, meiosis, and what you need to know. Lah. Okay, next. Metaphase. Guys, if let's say this is our Earth, what do we call this? Equator. Sata Katulistiwa. First point, chromosomes. Okay, if you haven't, just take a photo and copy because I need to move on. Eh? Okay, now, metaphase, the chromosomes line up at equator and spindle fiber attached to centromere. Spindle fiber attached to centromere. So, which part is centromere? The middle dot here. This one, uh, the middle dot here. The black dot. A bit racist, uh, the black dot. So only two points. Uh, you remember plus, they line up at equator and attach to spindle fiber. Okay, yeah, guys. So only two points for for metaphase. Can I? Are you still alive? Hello. So can I tell about effect of abnormal meiosis. Um, I I I I don't think I can cover that, uh. guys. Just mitosis meiosis lah today. Okay. All right, anaphase number one. Centromere split. Look first before you copy. Look first. Split okay, split. when when spindle fiber contract tarik pull. Oh, sorry, in, in Malay it's called gentian gelendong. If the spindle fiber contract, sister chromatid separate. In Malay it's called chromatid. Chromatic kembah. They change already the Malay syllabus. Ah. The Malay word ah, is still ah, BM. Ah. Okay. Sister chromatid means this. Ah. These two are sister chromatids because they come from the same chromosome. These two are sister chromatid, they come from the same chromosome. Okay. And yeah, okay. In Malay, we call it chromatic kembah. Chromatic kembah. Last time they call uh, chromosome anak. Now the new textbook, the, the, the textbook they put chromatic kembah. Guys, have you copied centromere split, spindle fiber contract, sister chromatic separate, and finally, 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 allophase, they reach opposite poles. Mereka sampai kutub masing-masing. The shortcut is back to prophase. 
Okay, we will see. Let's see. This is profits. Let's say this is profits, guys. We finally want this to become like this. This to become like this. So I push it aside. I, I push it to the left side corner. Can you see nuclear membrane? Again, I want this to become like this. Same goes to this. Can you see nuclear membrane? Yes. Uh, okay, so first point, nuclear membrane is formed. Can you see nucleolus? Yes, nucleolus is formed. Can you see chromosomes here? No, so chromosomes become not visible. And one last point. Is it possible to have two nucleus in one cell? Guys, can or not? One cell, two nucleus, can or not? Cannot. So, cytokinesis occurred. Cytokinesis meaning cytoplasm split. Cytoplasma akan dibahagikan kepada dua. So, this is how we get two new cells. Okay, guys, you copy this first. I'll go through the whole process one time. Uh, uh, Putri, hold on. When I go through the whole process later, you screenshot. Lah. Okay. Okay, guys, anybody haven't finished copying? Uh, DT, hold on. Later, when I reach Anna Face, then you screenshot. Lah. I'll go through the whole thing again. Oh, you all got your number one. Ah. Okay. Okay, guys, I go through the whole thing again. Try to follow. Try to follow. If you can follow, 80% is damn, damn good already. If you can follow, 80% is damn, damn good. Uh, Kujia, you won't be asked how to draw diagram for interface. Ah. You won't be asked how to draw diagram. Ah. It's, it's not. Where have you seen such a question? You won't be asked like that one. Definitely. I haven't seen before. That's why I need to ask you, where have you seen such a question? I think maybe you meant... I think maybe they want you to probably draw the chromosome. Because, guys, they will only ask you to draw the chromosomes. They won't ask you to draw the whole uh, complete interface one. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's start. Huh? So first point, central smooth to opposite pole. What's your next point? Nuclear membrane disappear. Chromosome become visible. And then nucleolus shrink and disappear. Guys, how many points for profits? I want to bring your attention to this a while. How many points for profits? Four. Okay, next. Metaphase, remember plus. They line up at equator. Oops. Chromosomes line up at equator. Tersusun di sata katulistiwa dan ikat pada gentian gelendong. Attached to spindle fiber. Anaphase. When spindle fiber contract, guys, what will separate? What will separate? Sister chromatid separate. Yes. Sister chromatid separate. And telophase. Okay. Uh, chromosomes reach opposite poles. 
the shortcut is back to profits. Nuclear membrane, nucleolus is formed. Nuclear membrane, nucleolus is formed. Chromosome become not visible. And then last one, cytokinesis. Okay. Uh, if you if you can follow, if you are learning this the first time, if you are learning this the first time, uh you can follow 80%, it's already really good. Serious, serious. You can ask your seniors, the form five also, some still not 100 percent sure one. Okay. Uh so what about significance? And our phase number of chromosome double. Uh, okay, depending if you are. If you just learn this process today, don't care about that one first. Don't hold on first. Yeah, I'm trying to teach you as surface as possible and what is important without compromising anyone. Now, okay, now, if you are okay with mitosis, 70-80%, we can already move on to meiosis 1. Guys, we move on to meiosis 1. Huh? Now, to learn meiosis 1, to learn meiosis 1, you have to first understand this word. Okay, you have to first understand this word. Huh? Hey, oh, no, no, no. Guys, wrong, wrong slide. Wait, wait. Huh? Yeah. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Uh, girls try to focus on the left side instead. Huh? Okay, so body cell, all our body cells, uh, girls here is left side uh, here. So in all our body cells, there are 46 chromosomes. Take out all the chromosomes. Hey, you all tell me how are they arranged? How are they arranged? In pairs. Okay. So these are 23 homologous pairs. Dalam BM uh, 20 pasang, chromosome homolog. Chromosome homolog. Guys, I want to ask you, normally when I teach this part, I should ask this question. Uh, I want to ask the, 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 the boys first. Boys, when you choose girlfriend next time, what is important to you? Boys. Next time, not, not, not today, not tomorrow. Next time when you choose girlfriend, what's important to you? The eyes? The eyes? Well, you like big eye. Like the what? The panda. The face. Luckily, not going elsewhere. Uh, maturity. So you like all... Okay, never mind. That's all. Okay, okay. The girl's turn. Uh, girls, <laughs> not old, la, mature type, he angry. He. <laughs> but but old means mature, ma, no man? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, uh, girls, I want to ask, girls, I want to ask, when you choose boyfriend next time, what is important? The height, uh, personality, Leng Chai, Leng Chai means handsome, uh, money, Personality again. Okay, never mind. Uh, honest. Rich. What else? Loyal. Oh, where to find? Hey. Okay, never mind. Jawline. You like what? No jawline. Very fat. You like those? Responsible. Hey, this is finding a boyfriend. I'm not finding, finding president for a club or society. Yeah. So this is always the issue when I ask boys and girls. That they ask the boys, hey, what criteria is important? Oh, sir, as long as it's a girl can already. But when I ask the girls about boyfriend, all this will pop up. Huh? Got one girl say, sir, must be very funny. I told her, you better find a clown. The clown is always very funny one. When finding BF, find husband. Knowledgeable. Oh. Okay, guys, better stop here. The, the page is not enough to write. Okay. Now, when you find partner, you have a list of criteria that 
you have a list of criteria, lah, okay? Uh, yeah, must always be 46 chromosome. I'm not touching on Down syndrome. I'm just touching on the fact that all of us here, we have 46 chromosome in our body cells. Okay, now, guys, homologous chromosome, you see, when you choose partner, you have your own criteria. When chromosome choose partner, they like exactly the same one. They like exactly the same. Would you like someone exactly like you but opposite gender? Exactly like you. 100% the same. Just that. Yes, ah, okay. Clone. I, I wouldn't because it feels very weird. It feels very weird. Yeah. Anyway, if you, sir, I really like whoever is exactly like me, you are like the chromosome. Chromosome, they always choose partner exactly the same as them. So that's why they call it homologous. Same size. Same structure. Same size, same structure. Guys, can you copy this? Homologous chromosome, same size, same structure. Same size, same structure. They like exactly the same one. Don't want any difference at all. Okay, with that, we can start uh, meiosis 1. Guys, meiosis, uh, meiosis got meiosis 1 as well as meiosis 2. Meiosis 2 is very similar to mitosis, but the differences, um, the differences is very minimum. Uh, very minimum. So when you study meiosis 2, it's like mitosis. Uh. So next part I'm teaching you is meiosis 1 before we move back to the exam paper before we move back to the exam paper. My, my focus today is more on this one. Ah. That's why the exam paper, the rest is just to expose you to how they are. Sir. Okay, so let's start. Let's start, Prophase one. Ah. Guys, I want to ask you. Okay. okay. Now, if you know mitosis, uh, you know meiosis one most of the points. Uh. Guys, I'm not too sure how your teacher teach you. Uh. I'm really not too sure because every, every school got one or two or maximum three bio teacher. You have to know mitosis, meiosis one and meiosis two. Some teachers teach three different processes. Big headache because three different, so very different process. Those who are quite okay, they teach two processes. Okay, la, not too bad. I try to combine everything into one. So I teach one only. So very simple to me. If you follow my method, you know this. You know 90% of this. You know this already. Check, check, check. Guys, how many points did you learn in profits just now? Four, correct? Here, good news. Prophase 1, just copy all, just repeat the same four points. So, nuclear membrane chromosome. Dollar stream disappear. But there are two more points. Synapses occur. Homologous chromosome pair up. Okay. One pair is called a bivalent. One pair is called a bivalent. And crossing over occurs. Crossing over means like that. They overlap. They overlap. We call it exchange of parts between homologous chromosome. Let me teach you how to copy. So you write meiosis 1, you write prophase 1, so point 0.1 to point 0.4, same as prophase, mitosis, okay? Uh, tetrad is bivalent, uh, tetrad is bivalent. Okay, 
Guys, profits one, point one to point four, you copy, same as profits, then you copy these two points. Copy these two. Again, profits one, point one to four, same as profits, just copy five and six. And that's all for profits one. Just add two points only. Synapsis means homologous chromosome is formed. Then they undergo crossing over. Lah. Pindah silang dalam BM. Pindah silang. The part where they cross, undergo crossing over is called kasma. We call it kasma. The part where they overlap. Okay, just get to know first. Just get to know. Guys, done? Finish? Okay, I move on. Huh? I move on. Huh? Now, mitosis, like we have just seen earlier, no synapses, no crossing over. Metaphase one, how many points did you learn for metaphase earlier? Two, yes. Here also two. But you just add the word homologous. Okay. So you copy metaphase one, point one, point two. You just do like this homologous, homologous chromosome. Dot, 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 dot. Homologous chromosome line up at the equator, homologous chromosome attached to spindle fiber. Everything the same as mitosis, only add one word. Without this word, you will get zero. Without this word, you will get zero because they are a pair now. Okay, and next one. Anaphase one. Guys, anaphase one. When speed fiber contract, can you please guess what will separate? What will separate? Is it sister chromatid? No, it's homologous chromatid. Separate, okay? Anaphase one, you can copy this. Spindle fiber contract, homologous chromosome, separate. And finally, uh, telophase 1 is same as telophase. But don't mention chromosome become not visible. Again, uh, telophase 1 is exactly like telophase. Just don't mention chromosome become not visible. And that's all for meiosis 1. And guys, after you have done that, you just read through one time. Then I'll teach you my method. Those who follow my normal class, you know. Uh, just the past one week, I just taught. Uh. You guys have a look first. Uh. I, yeah. Yeah, guys, there's a special promo code whereby you get chapter one to seven for only 45 bucks. Okay, 45 bucks. Meaning, meiosis, telophase one, don't need to write chromosome become not visible. Toi, toi, toi. We don't say chromosome become not visible. Because it will continue with prophase two. 
it will continue with prof phase two. Means the chromosome like this uh, will continue with prof phase two. Okay, guys, let me teach you my method. Uh, first after this, I still want to go through one or two important questions. Uh. Uh, look, so. To remember, it, it really helps a lot. I, I, I would say this, uh, guys. This is my own method. I came up with this myself. If you heard it anywhere else, definitely someone copied my method. Lah. Yeah, because this one, I really sit down think how to help students to really differentiate. Okay, so mitosis is like primary school. Meiosis one secondary. Guys, is there a big difference? What's the main difference between primary and secondary school? What's the main, main difference? Okay. You see, my existing student know already. Mitosis. Ah, primary school, no dating. Meiosis one is like secondary school. Can start dating. Okay, can start dating. So look, I want to ask you, right, before you hold hand with the girl or boy that you like, what should you do? Before hold hand with someone you like, what should you do? Make her fall in love. Wow, so deep. Kiss them. I think you're going to slap before you hold hand. Uh. Tell the parent. Uh, oh, Muslim student cannot hold hand, uh, by the way. Uh. You ask. Guys, how old are you? 17 or 70? Hey, can I hold your hand? Cannot. Uh, die lah. Ask permission. You all sound very... Okay, never mind. <laughs> so, <laughs> guys, before whole hand, you have to get together. Okay? Get together first. I didn't know your generation is so open. Can just hold hand. Not I say. Meiosis one say. Synapse together then only whole hand ah guys some call it whole leg ah yeah can also ah. what do we call two people who get together hey two people who get together two people who get together a couple yes two chromosome get together a bivalent okay a bivalent Guys, if you if you can't really remember this part, sir, I always forget the part where they undergo crossing over. Just remember our previous Prime Minister, Najib. Najib, who's the wife? Rosma. Okay, so Najib, Najib, Rosma. Najib, Rosma, Rosma, Kasma. Guys, Kasma, imagine they hold hand. Machi, Rosma. <laughs> Avin <laughs> Kumar. So, so, so the difference between profis, profis one, like primary school, secondary school, no dating can start dating. Okay, guys, I'm using it just to teach by you. I'm not, not really asking you to start. Eh? So, okay, nah? Oh, yeah. After you all get together, I, uh, guys, this is the cheesy part. Lah. Very, very cheesy. Lah. He is now part of you. You are now part of him. And all that kind of K-drama nonsense. Ah. Okay. So, primary school. No get together, no whole hand. So, you will never see something like this one. You will never see something like this. This one. Okay. Guys, meta phase one. Last time, primary school, you line up alone. Hen kalian ah. Huh? Very, uh, kalian is what ah? Very sad lah, guys. Line up alone. But now, together after start dating. Okay, line up. Many strings attached. So, many strings attached means what? Ah, yeah, guys, when you start dating, you tend to know, you tend to know his friends. He tend to know your friends. Correct or not? Guys, correct or not? Because we'll chit-chat, we'll... 
This one nobody want to answer. <laughs> I wanted to catch someone here. Nobody want to answer. I love it. Anyway, so guys, it's like that. La. You 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 get together with someone, you tend to know his friends, you tend to know your friends. In and in every group of friends, sure got that one stupid idiot one. Got that one idiot friend one, I tell you. That one idiot friend who always wants to break you up. Kanung tuchi, ah. tuchi means like tuchi, tuchi, tuchi. jealousy. Jealousy. Ah, not happy that you are happy. Sounds very deep, right? So we'll keep talking a lot of stuff behind your back and this is where we enter Anna one guys oh you talk so much then pressure if you cannot take the pressure how ah break up yes separate <laughs> yeah yeah stupid friend. <laughs> stupid friend okay so after breakup Oh, this one's quite sad. This one's quite sad. He is still part of you. You are still part of him. Very sad. Very sad. Guys, assuming you break up with someone, will you still remember him or her 10 years later? After breakup, will you still remember him or him or her 10 years later? If you say no, means probably you haven't dated before. If you say yes, so definitely you'll remember you have some experience or some relationship or nearly dated before. Huh? <laughs> okay, guys, does it matter whether some uh whether your partner dated before? Wait, wait. I dated but mom post. Are you? Don't worry, I give you an emoji. Uh, alien emoji. Ah, okay. Okay, so guys, does it matter to you whether someone dated before? Girls, does it matter to you whether your boyfriend dated before? Does it matter to you? Hey, don't keep replying to his what? Come, 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 answer my question. Don't don't reply his uh what his statement. Come on, come on. Ah, yes, it matters. Yeah, of course, ah. Hey, got one say don't matter. So your boyfriend got 10 ex-girlfriend. You are okay. Ah? Diam, diam, idiot. Okay, no mind. So guys, it matters. So if you it, so if you see this, he might cheat. No, no, I didn't say that. That's not on me. Ah. You own self say one and that one. Ah. Nothing to do with me. Ah. He cheat or not, not my problem. I'm just saying he got how many ex-girlfriend. Ah. Hey. It matters. So if you see this, oh, got dating before. Meiosis. Not mitosis. Mitosis, no dating. Ma. Okay. So guys, it matters. It matters. It matters. Okay. And finally, quite sad. Oh, this one. Okay, this one, this one, this one. Never mind. So mitosis, we say sister chromatid separate. Like. Oh, why did the dog come out? Uh, and finally, See this one, I gotta put tall, tall. My normal class slides are. Uh, look. Finally, finally go own way. Enter own college. Forever cannot be together. Ah, guys. So this is meiosis one. Ah. This is meiosis one. Ah. This is how you differentiate mitosis and meiosis. This is how you differentiate mitosis and meiosis one. Okay, so if you know mitosis, you know meiosis one. Uh, it's the same, just that got dating, no dating, get together, separate, all those only. Okay, guys, now coming back to the question. Uh, so you can take you can take the next part because I want to touch on essay. Guys, I want to touch on essay. So this is your homework. Uh. Question three is your homework. Question three and four. La. Question three and four is your homework. Guys, I want to straight away go to section B, essay. Eh? Uh, homework means I'll give you answer. La. Homework means I'll give you answer. Okay, guys, look at essay. Eh? Uh, how can we get the recording? We grow will tell you later. Guys, stay until the end of the session. They'll tell you how to get the recording. Okay? 
they'll let you know. They'll let you know how to get it. Uh, I'll pass to them by, I think, tonight. Then you can get it by later Sunday. Lah. Later Sunday. Okay. Because I need to prepare uh, the answers a bit. Lah. I need to prepare a bit. No, it's not everything repeat on. I, I need to prepare a bit. Okay, guys. Now, look at question six. Lah. I just want you to tell me the first one sentence answer. Lah. Just tell me one answer. There's something to learn here. I just want you to tell me one answer. This one. This is from chapter five. If you are sitting for coming midterm, uh, uh, chapter two organelles are very important. Okay, chapter two, make sure you know all the organelles. Uh. Chapter five is this. Log and key hypothesis. You will get zero. Why you cannot write log and key hypothesis? Kenapa tak boleh tulis jawapan ini? Because it's already in the question. Ah, so cannot. P. Oh, okay. Um, what's your answer? First, Samantha, good. Asru, yes. So you have to say P is the enzyme. Oh, sorry, P is the substrate. Q is the enzyme. Hey, sorry, this one not so good. P is the P is the key. Q is the log. Okay. You identify which is the log, which is the key. First point. Next. P enters Q to form. You can either say enzyme, substrate, complex, or you want to say PQ complex also can because you're using back the term from the question. Enter active side of Q, even better, even better. Then reaction takes place. And what is formed? Guys, what is formed? Pro product. Then you will get this wrong. Why? Ah, Han, correct. Glucose is formed. Because, guys, I'm using the term from the question. I'm using the alphabets from the question. Sir, so, how to know whether have to use from the question? Very simple. If they label for you, you have to use already. And not only that, they even tell you very quick, very clearly, based on the diagram. Berdasarkan Raja, huraikan hypothesis kunci dan mangga. Guys, can anyone give me one last point? Let's say this comes out. Enzyme can be reused again. Yes. Q can be reused again. What is another way of saying can be reused again? Q is not destroyed after reaction. Okay. Q is not destroyed after reaction. Uh, don't need, don't need. You don't need to label P and Q, la, don't need. Because it's only four marks. It's only four marks. Don't undergo any changes after reaction. Can also, can also. Can also, no problem. So guys, uh, the, the thing is that it's a very simple question. Very simple question. But are you taking note of the details? P, Q, glucose must use in your answer. Mesti guna dalam jawapan. So, if I don't use P and Q, how? Let's say, lah, you don't use P and Q, this will be wrong. This will be wrong. This will be wrong. One out of four. If you use enzyme, 
uh, and substrate, you will get one out of four. If based on last year's marking, based on last year's marking, I can guarantee you get one out of four. Although when you try, you feel you're gonna get full marks. That's why, uh, guys, that's why uh, um sometimes I do get responses from students whereby sir, I can do all the question, but my marks didn't come out as expected because you felt you did it right, but sebenarnya terdapat kata kunci yang tarik marka anda. It holds your marks back. You cannot get the grade you want because you think you can, but actually it's not what they want. So my job is to clarify all this. Lah, okay? my, my job is to clarify all this. Lah. What's that? For revision teacher, QP is what? What? Oh, what's P and Q? Ah? To form glucose, definitely this is maltose. Ah. This is maltase. Ah. If you want, you can state. Ah. Sometimes can get marked. Sometimes can get marked. Okay. Uh, teacher, is it all right to leave answer in point form? Yes, it's good to be in point form. Do I get marked? Uh, in this case, yes, lah, guys. I can tell you straight. But you still have to mention this point. You do get marked for labeling P and Q. As say you get marked for labeling. You can write sentence. Sorry, you can write point form, but must be complete sentence. Must be complete sentence. I know some of your teachers say point form cannot, but let me tell you, markers prefer point form. Markers prefer point form. Students with good grades normally use point form. Sir, then why my teacher don't like? Because maybe your teacher don't know. Your teacher is new. Your teacher want to play safe. Yeah. We have been, we have been going to all these meetings for how many years, guys? But sometimes students will argue, oh, my teacher say must use uh, essay form. Then go ahead. Lah. Then go ahead. Lah. I mean, I'm, I'm okay. Ah. Guys, I'm not forcing anybody to follow me. If you trust me, you follow me, you will get your great one, definitely. Guys, you can ask any, any past student, uh, not current student, uh, you ask any past student who followed me. I tell them, you want the grade, you follow. Follow the steps. Okay, guys, one last thing for today. Uh, so your job is to try out a lot of skills. On, uh, uh, I dare to say this. Uh, I dare to say this. Uh, those who follow me, it's not that, it's not that these students are, they will they'll be very, very much better off, but definitely they have that extra marks compared to the rest one. Because at the end of the day, you can be a very good student in memorizing, doesn't mean you are very good in answering. You can ask my past students, I give them test paper, I let them bring book. Nobody score full mark one. Nobody's called full mark. Coming to the point, you think you know, but actually it's not what they want. You think you know, tapi itu bukan jawapan yang mereka nak. Something like this, uh, just to show you. Just to show. A lot of things they try to catch you on. So normally near SPM, I'll list down what they try to catch you with, what can come out, all those kind of stuff. Lah. Okay, guys. Uh, so your job is to try the essay. Can Bahagian see in point form? Can, can, can. No problem. No problem. Uh, guys, your homework is this. And this is a K bar. Okay, this is a K bar. Make sure you give it a try. La. This is quite good. This is quite good. This one, you draw one star. La. Draw one star. So the answers, I think I'll pass it to them by because um I'll be busy with classes until at night. Then tomorrow, got classes, then uh, seminar. So most likely tomorrow night, tomorrow night, latest I'll pass to them. So by Sunday, you should get it. Lah, guys. By Sunday, like, give me a bit of time. Give me a bit of time because all these are not uh, repeatedly used. Lah. In subjective, if structure... In, in subjective, if question asks us to compare, can we use table form? Yes. Please use table form. Students who use table form score a little bit higher. Uh, point form is like one, two, three, or point form. Both also can. Both also can. Hey, guys, thanks for staying until the end of the session. Okay, thanks for staying until the end of the session. If you really have any question regarding the set, just find me on uh, IG or Facebook, type Mr. Call Biology. 
I also have my personal one, but I don't answer any, I don't answer any bio question there. La. So students feel half hanging when they ask me bio question there. <laughs> Guys, please ask in my work IG. La. Okay, then even you can check out some videos I have on YouTube. 